This is Tanya Luang coming to you from Glamour Academy. I want to take this opportunity to thank every one of you coming in today, whether you are an old member or a new member. A warm welcome to you all. And uh, today, I want to talk about something that a lot of us lack of. And uh, in this industry, I think it's very, very important. Best way to boost your confidence. That's what I want to talk about. How to boost your confidence and, you know, and, and the ways of uh, doing it. So to me, confidence is so important, so crucial in your life. And, uh, you know, have you ever thought about doing something which you deliver your best and so effective and when your confidence is so down i think never right at least i'm not so how how are we going to boost that confidence so today i wanted to share with you a simple simple way to shift that confidence. We're talking about mindset. If we're able to, to do and to change that confidence, you have to change your mindset. Okay? So, how do we know or when, um, when to be able to call upon that confidence and ability for us to do so? My way. My way of doing it, <laughs> what I did in the past, I have, I have a friend, um, Anna. So Anna, what happened with Anna is that she is so timid, very, very shy, would never upon herself approaching other people when she's not familiar with. She's not confident of herself. First, she is short, couldn't speak a lot of English. And so that hindered her so much that she was so shy, you know, uh, in a way that she could not approach a stranger and say, hello, hi, how are you? This is Anna. And, you know, strike a conversation. So I have to you know, um, really, really, really tell her, hey, Anna, you know, in this beauty industry, in order for you to get clients, in order for you to get relationships with your peers, your staff, um, and mostly with your clients, you're going to have to learn how to get out of your nutshell, get out of your comfort zone, okay, and prepare yourself. Really, really prepare yourself and think of a way how to combat that lack of confidence. So I told her, you know what, next time, why don't you do this? Why don't you just take one small step and approach another client of your, of your staff member? And just kind of like staying there and mingle and say, hey, you know, I, I think, you know, you have a beautiful set of lashes. So let's try that. So I started, you know, kind of like give her an idea. And guess what? The next day, she's on it. So she went and approached every single client of her, her peers and work on that you know, ability to approach other people. So she was able to step out of her comfort zone, step out of her shyness, and be able to explore her options. She did not know that she was able to strike a friendly conversation. So lo and behold, she got it. So she had related to me in the past. I am... I. I wasn't, you know, <laughs> I was very stage fright. I wasn't like this. I hate to be on camera. Really, really, really hate to be on camera. 
and not very comfortable at talking to a camera and not knowing or not even remember the line. I was so nervous and sweating and everything. And so, um, you know, one day, whew, by trying to get this out, trying to be familiar with my zone, um, because I, I have to, I have a company to run and uh, I have things to do in order to promote our company. I have to be able to step out of my comfort zone and, you know, further myself with all this new, you know, ex explanation. I never knew that I was able to stand in here and talking to you, just like, you know, I haven't seen you. So, um, you know, my producer go, Tanya, you need to be this. Tanya, you need to be that. Be stronger, be vocal. And <laughs> so little by little, I, I was able to kind of put myself in a comfort zone, you know, think that my audience out there is really, really listening to me. So I did just that. So I related to Anna in a way where sometimes you don't know what you have inside. And if you're able to listen to somebody keep saying that, oh no, Tanya, you can't do that. You, you don't look good doing that. Or <laughs> I, I don't see you, a person who is able to command a certain kind of conversation or strike a conversation in front of a camera. Uh, you're not that type, right? So with Anna and with my self-experience, I finally able to break through. And uh, I had, uh, you know, come up and really, really dissecting and sort of figure a way out how to combat with its lack of confidence. So I think shifting your mindset, mindset, right? Moving it away from negativity, first of all. Working everything for myself on an offense mode. Instead of always putting up fire, like, you know, when I don't feel comfortable doing this, I'm going, okay, I'm going to tackle this right now. So I practice myself putting out that fire, right? Putting on an offense mode. I stay away from people who give negative comments, who give you know, a negative opinions. I stay away from them. Even listening to an influencer sometimes, right? Um, you would have one that will really, really support you, really give you, it really boosts that confidence. It doesn't matter they know that you have it or not, but the way that they say it, the verbiage, the gesture, it's all about supporting and boosting that positive mindset. So I encourage you to kind of absorb it and power that positive mindset, okay? So stay away from negative influencer. That's one way. The second way for me to do is to stop listening to the, to the news. How many times have you out there listening to the news and you are like, oh my God, one new bad news after another. There's fire, there is um, shooting, there is robbing, there is, you know, a lot of all this chaotic on the news. So guess what? I stopped watching the news. So I wanted to bring in and feed my brain with all this positivity whether listening to a podcast um, or striking a, converse, a good conversation with a friend, giving it a good debate or reading a book, or maybe get myself re-educated, you know, is taking up some courses. So that's my way of weaning off all this negative news um, and, and social media out there. The third way that I wanted to approach is, um, again, uh, not listening to bad advice, <laughs> right? H how many times 
How many times of you out there listening to bad advice and then feeling good? <laughs> I don't think so. So I realized that bad advice also puts you really, really down, <laughs> way down. So I learned to stay away from people who give bad advice. It's like bad investment. <laughs> you lose it all. And guess what? Who's going to bail you out? So anyway, um, that's, that's, that's my way to combat and to boost confidence. So, you know, in the end of the day, uh, the best way that I thought, uh, it's so funny. I'm sitting here and I go, oh my gosh, um, I, I used to be young. I used to be very, very fast. I used to be very on point and um, quick turning, you know, one unsoft to, to the soft, you know, um, what is it? I'm, I'm stuck in somewhere. I, I able to solve it really quick. And I go, wait a minute, how come I used to be like that? And not now. <laughs> so what I did is that I went way back into my own memories. Uh, whether it is, you know, a quick way of uh, taking care of certain things, tackle certain problems, or fixing, you know, like even my hair, my makeup, or my way of um, putting on my uh, wardrobe. So I was able to kind of go back and take my old self, take whatever it is that's my best at when I was younger, and apply it to the current time. So um, it's so funny. I did just that. And um, I, I was walking around, how I move, how I talk, how I dress myself. People noticed, you know, and they said, wow, you look good. Or wow, you know, you, you, you had all that quick quickness and quick decisions and, you know, very fast. Just like, you know, when I met you 20 years ago. <laughs> and I was like, whew. So I think, I, think I, I was able to find myself and put myself in that situation. Yeah. So anyway, guys, that's my message to you, how to boost your confidence. Okay. And hopefully, hopefully all that, Weaning off negativity, weaning off all that bad influencer, taking off the bad, not watching the bad news, and empower your old self. Bring it back to the present. Hopefully, that will boost your confidence. Hey guys, if you like what I share for you today, and if you still having that little difficulties of your time, getting yourself comfortable or getting that yourself boost with confidence, if you need my help, you can always get directly with me at 951-800-8007 or I'm always be here to give you, you know, a direct message here and I will certainly give you that um, confidence. Okay, guys, if you like what I share with you today, you can directly uh, message me and uh, either myself or a team member will get back to you. And by the way, uh, we are having a two days virtual boot camp on August 31st and September 1st. And in here, I will cover how for you to uh, grow and launch your lash business and scale it to six figures. And uh, I would hope, I would really, really hope that you take advantage of this moment because this seat is limited. Sign up today. I will see you there. Thank you. Bye.